And the next session before lunch break today, as Kun Chatri already mentioned, is the prospects for healthcare in ZLMV countries, presented by Dr. Chatri Dongnet, Chief Operating Officer, Medical Affairs, and Vice President from Bangkok Dusit Medical Services Public Company Limited, or so called BGH. Thank you very much. And for the Q&A session, we will run again by Kun Chatri Prao Prai Kun, the outstanding analyst from Patala Securities Public Company Limited. So please welcome the distinguished speakers and also the moderator on the stage once again. Please give a round of applause for the speakers. Thank you. Um, welcome everyone back to our panel discussion on the prospect for healthcare in our VMC. Thai healthcare is one of the fastest growing sectors in recent years and as the largest operator in the country as well as one of the largest in the region, Bangkok Visit Medical Services is at the forefront of tapping into the growth potential of fast developing LVMC countries. I would like to uh, now turn the floor to Ajahn Chatri, who would begin by sharing with us his view and insight into the challenges and opportunities within the healthcare sector and the prospects of the fast developing LVMC block. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, my honor to be sitting here in, uh, in front of all the lions in the lion den. And number two is obviously the name Chat is very good, right? Yes, I, I agree. <laughs> but he's much, much more better looking than me, so I'm going to start right here, okay? Uh, I'm going to talk, uh, I have to walk, otherwise I'm going to be sleepy. Uh, let me walk a little bit and talk. I'm going to talk about prospect of uh, healthcare in, uh, in LVMC, uh, which all of you know that that means upper uh, ASEAN, which uh, strategically uh, our company is very interested in, and we say in many places that we are very interested in this part of, uh, of the world, our company. And uh, uh, I'm going to make a reverse uh, uh, comment. I'm going to talk about LVMC, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, uh, AEC, and then uh, ASEAN at the end, and then after that can be a question and answer session. Don't worry, it's going to be very brief okay, on, on this part. I just want to take some of the statistics out of the way uh, so all of you can see the statistics first. And then the, real, the most important part that I'm going to talk with you from my heart, according to what the law allows me to talk. Uh, uh, frankly, uh, what's going on, uh, mostly, hopefully, going to be generic. But if things are going to focus on certain organization, I'm going to be only talking to uh, Bangkok to sit or BGH. I'm not going to make any comment on any other uh, healthcare providers at all. Okay, so that's going to be our uh, guideline to, today. Okay, so uh, uh, LVMC, all four uh, countries in here, uh, and uh, Thailand is number five in the top five, which we call uh, uh, the mainland countries of uh, ASEAN. The mainland, uh, BGH, is very interested in uh, the country in the mainland. We're not including us, then can be LVMC. Uh, you can see here Laos population is the least. And then uh, we, uh, Vietnam has the uh, biggest population. And then Myanmar. And then Cambodia here. Uh, if you look at this, uh, uh, GDP per capita, this is uh, 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 Purchasing power parity here, 
you can see that because Laos has a least population, it looks like they have pretty good uh, GDP per capita. Okay, uh, looks like that. And when you go to the country, then you have to decide by yourself exactly how rich the people in those countries are. Um, briefly, uh, key indicators on LVMC, uh, uh, it shows that all those countries still lack of sufficient health care because uh, of life expectancy. Uh, when compared to the whole world, uh, the LVMC kind of pretty much uh, lower than, than average and obviously lower than the Western countries, uh, except the, uh, Vietnam seems to be doing a little bit better job. Uh, under five mortality rate, uh, again, uh, 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 looks like the champion is uh, uh, Myanmar here and Vietnam doing a pretty good job also. Thailand is right here. Thailand is right here. Maternity, maternity, uh, maternity mortality ratio, meaning uh, uh, death, death rate of mother after giving birth to a child. That's very, uh, one of the real big indicators for health uh, care in each country. Uh, it seems like uh, Laos has been like this for a long time. You know. Personally, I just, uh, my great grandma, uh, she married to, a, uh, she was uh, a Laotian and she married to a, a French official. And I still remember my great grandma gave birth to my, my grandma in, uh, in, uh, in Sung Hobang and she died right after birth. And right now, the red is still right there. So Laos is very concerned. They are very much, when we go over there, they ask us, could we uh, do something, or seriously do something to help improve this for their population. Uh, tuberculosis uh, looks like uh, Cambodia is the highest one. And uh, how, we don't want to lose our status. So HIV, we are the champion. Uh, so Thailand still having problems, especially for new generation. We did pretty good. Uh, was the, uh, Thailand did a pretty good job in, 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 in controlling HIV uh, in, in my generation. And the younger generation, when they were doing campaign, uh, those new generation, the new waves, they were little babies and they were not uh, and then we kind of lack uh, doing any more campaign after that. We thought we were doing a good job already, so obviously we are not doing a good job. And this is what concern in Thailand. However, this is a concern in LVMC, okay? We're going to go back there. Malaria. Uh, so champion here is Myanmar. And you can see that Vietnam don't have much malaria because they, have much in, in the, they don't have much jungles in, in the country, not like the rest of us, okay? Uh, then with the standard of living in LVMC, uh, we have growing urban population, and uh, all, sorry, all countries uh, having grow, growing urban populations. And uh, when it comes to growing GDP per capita, again based on PPP per capita in thousand, and all countries are improving. Uh, demand side, uh, expenditure for uh, LVMC are relatively low. That doesn't mean uh, they're bad uh, because they really need to have uh, uh, those care. The reason it's so low because they don't have much place to go to. They don't have much, uh, enough uh, uh, resource or personnel that can take care of them. Uh, when compared to uh, demand, compared to OECD countries, it's have a big gap. And when you look uh, over here, um, uh, our countries in uh, are we we real way behind on using uh, healthcare. That means we have to have much opportunity. You know, if we are growing, keep uh, developing, then we are gonna catch up with the countries up there. So opportunity is huge. When it comes to government participation in the healthcare they need. You can see that the most of the country, the government doesn't do much at all, except Thailand. Thailand, because of, uh, I think we should be proud, uh, because Thailand, uh, whatever you talk about, the Samsibat, or $1 per one visit. But it helps. 
at least people can declare that they're not going to be left dying in the street. When you don't have any coverage at all, then all of you go to that uh, universal coverage, which I still think is good. We have huge problem financing it, but the concept is good for Thai people. I'm a Thai person. I'm glad that you know when time comes and I need care that I don't have need any coverage, this will be my alternative. So Thailand, you see, is comparison to Europe. Uh, is another, I think it's another slide there. However, uh, oh here, oh, I'm sorry, in Europe here. But the rest, you know, government don't do much at all, the blue, uh, the blue portion here. On the supply side, you know, physicians, you can see that uh, all LVMC uh, population, uh, a number of physicians per 10,000 population, and a number of beds per 10,000 population, nursing per 10,000 population, hospital per 10,000 populations look like this. But overall, uh, even though the number of physician nursing in Thailand it looks like it's smaller. However, out of all this, uh, Thailand uh, healthcare personnel seem to be very skilled in tertiary care, in more complicated healthcare. And uh, the rest of uh, here, even, the, even though sometimes they have more, more numbers of doctors and nurses, the skill is much less than uh, healthcare personnel in Thailand because of uh, the, the, the king's father, he was the Harvard uh, graduated MD and uh, doctors, and he started uh, uh, developing Thailand healthcare system for more than 60 years ago. So by t this time, we are much comparable to West, so to Western country, to to Western country. So that's why the re that's the reason why population in uh, uh, in, in this uh, area still coming to Thailand for help when they are getting to some more complicated uh, uh, illnesses. They're all coming to Thailand because of that exact reason. And uh, provided this is really confusing, Laos seem to have a lot of hospitals. But when you go over there, they, I, we just found out we apply for a clinic. We want to have a tele clinic in uh, Luang Prabang. And the law said, if you know you private cannot do a clinic, on whatever we define to be our clinic has to, they have to call home law, has to be hospital. Otherwise, uh, you, you're not allowed to do all of those. So lots of hospitals in, in Laos uh, right now, even though they have lots of them, they actually, uh, their ability is mostly more like uh, poly clinics. I'm not, uh, I say this in a very humble way, I'm not offending any country at all, okay, just what I see personally. Um, uh, Myanmar, right now, start to have some Parkway Pantai try to come in. I don't know how, because we have been waiting for, we have been preparing for four years, so you couldn't get a piece of land yet, because of the, even though the main law policy, the government allow, but the, the supporting laws and regulations still not complete yet, okay. So, they have uh, this in, in, in Myanmar right now. But we do, not hospital, we do have uh, uh, ancillary services like uh, labs and uh, uh, medical supply. We do have our company in that also. We don't put it in here. Actually, we have in all, uh, all three countries without Vietnam, we have our own company in there also. I'm talking about BGS, okay? Uh, Laos, as a Chinese, uh, get a lot of influence from, from China. There were some in Rohobang, real big uh, Chinese private hospital in there. Uh, Vietnam, we have Chandler and uh, Huan Mai. And then Cambodia, BDMS has been there for uh, almost six years now, you know, for two smaller hospitals. Right now we're building a huge, uh, new, a big one, big tertiary uh, referral hospital, which will start in uh, around uh, March of next year. That's the third hospital. So uh, with uh, all LVMC, I'm going to go to AEC a little bit. Regulations in AEC, all of you know already that uh, AEC will help improving the flow. Uh, AEC will have positive effect in investment in those countries because uh, they can have free flow of goods, they can have free flow of uh, services, 
uh, almost free flow of investment, but they, they kind of make it easier. Free flow of capitals. And number five, which is the most important, is a free flow of uh, healthcare personnel, like doctors, nurses, and dentists. And um, I think that's the part that I think is more important than anything else. And that's the part that we worry the most. Because comparing to LVMC, Thailand has, like I said already, a lot higher skilled healthcare personnel. If they're sucked out of our country, we're in big trouble somehow. But uh, 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 that's only one uh, concern that uh, our, con our companies been looking for, and we're doing very, we're working very hard to do engagement for all healthcare personnel, being doctors, nurses, pharmacists, uh, technicians, and other uh, employees. We make sure the co engagement is very, very good. Otherwise. And they're going to be drained out into those countries when AAC open up by the end of 2015. Uh, low barrier, of, because of AAC, the barrier of uh, regional market expansion can be lower. You know, you're talking about uh, uh, commitment to all service because those uh, countries that have so and so uh, is still developing the system of healthcare. They will try to open up to get more know-how into their countries. So, all service is going to be uh, go flowing to those countries easier. Uh, commitment for private hospital, they're going to want more private hospital to open up. And then, uh, especially the one that work with uh, the hospital that uh, have know-how in uh, doing uh, uh, hospital internationally. And uh, commitment to medical services and nursing services. You're talking about, you know, I'm not going to go into detail, uh, in Laos, Vietnam, and uh, Myanmar, and Cambodia also. And in ASEAN, uh, ASEAN hospital index outperformed the rest of the world. I think that's true. We can see this here. Uh, this is uh, Thailand listed. I think uh, it doesn't show much. It's very busy anyway. Uh, forecast point for our continuous growth for the region. Uh, for median sale, CHER year 12 and to year 14 forecasted. We forecast around 12.5% growth uh, for uh, sales and 15.4% uh, growth in EBITDA. So uh, opportunities there in, in ASEAN countries. And uh, this is just a slide uh, that uh, we, I, uh, don't get me wrong, I don't want to brag about uh, Bangkok Hospital, but I want the hospital, the healthcare that can go into those uh, uh, countries should be the hospital that has re uh, human resource, financial resources, and know-how resources to go in there. Uh, so only hospital that uh, think they are contender to go into those countries that we're looking right now is uh, this is ourselves, 30 hospitals, but we're looking into this. KPJ from Malaysia, they have 22 hospitals, and in fact, they're coming to Thailand right now also trying to. Um, and then Singapore, Malaysia, that's uh, integ integrated healthcare holdings that uh, actually they're in regional, however, they have a part in India and a part in, in Turkey also. So, so they are bigger than, uh, than BGH, however, they can go anywhere because they have uh, more resources. The rest of them, I'm not sure, okay? So you have the contender to go into LVMC. You can almost predict who's gonna go in there by just look at this. The, again, I repeat, I believe, maybe I'm wrong, the, the company that has more resources, the company that has uh, more uh, doctors, uh, lots more nurses and resources, can't go to the other country. And that company, that before they go to another country, they have to, have, they have to transform themselves to be a good uh, international hospital already. After they transform, then they can go and transform somebody, and start and transform somebody else. The, the, the most critical point of one hospital to, to go work in LVMC, there must be the 
the company that has their own unique that uh, the local people, local expats, and local uh, 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 whoever that want to come to that service should compete with the original hospital. It should be the same, just same, same identity. So they don't have to fly all the way back here. So uh, that's going to be things that we can see that so many, not so many uh, countries that could, can go into those. Uh, countries. And um, uh, elderly are getting older, the sort of uh, 60 and over, getting more and more and more in, in ASEAN here. And uh, uh, start to, they start to spend more also by disposable income per capita in ASEAN continues to grow. And uh, uh, healthcare. Uh, Total healthcare rising fast, and uh, uh, this is uh, mostly concerned Thailand. So I don't think I should show that one. Uh, medical tourist destination. I think uh, we can discuss that later. I think that's pretty much information I'd like to share with you before I go into question and answer session. Do you have any question at this point so far? Before I go to Kun, uh, better looking Chatri, and have him control me. If anyone has any questions, uh, please raise your hand. Our staff will, can bring over a microphone to you, and we can just um, start off that way as well. If not, then I can start off with a few questions first, then we can open up the floor. Feel free to raise your hand if you have any questions at all. We'll just come to you with this microphone. Yep, you've got one. Here we go. <laughs> Um, look, you skipped the last slide, which I really wanted to see that one. Medical tourism was a $39 billion industry in Thailand last year. How important is that for, for you and, and your business model? Uh, for BGS, our income from, from medical tourism, uh, from international patients, I would say not counting uh, expats is uh, uh, around 35%. Uh, after we, we, we add Payatai and it was 35%. After we add Payatai and, and, and uh, uh, Paolo, they're more concentrated in Thai people. We come down to around 25%. So without them, we cannot exist. Okay, um, then I'll maybe just start off with a few questions first before we turn the floor back to the audience in um, the later part of the session. Ajahn uh, Hub, there's been a lot of excitement around the potential opportunities uh, in, in the LVMC block. Could you please share with us your view on the region's potential for healthcare businesses such as BGH? Yes, uh, after all those reasons, you know, we, we feel uh, uh, potential for LECM is uh, the highest on our, on our priority right now because our, con our company would look into those first. It has been stated by our company, by my boss, uh, the president, many times that we're going to go to upper AEC first. And uh, those are just fit right in. Uh, uh, we feel that uh, the, because of number one location, they were close. So supporting, you know, you do anything at all, like you go to war, you have to have a any, any, any uh, troop with better support will win the war. So we don't want to go very far. We want to go to uh, the LEMC are the countries that are next door to us, and we can support them uh, much better this way. That's number one. Number two, uh, our know-how is uh, higher, so they're going to be relying on us uh, very much. And uh, right now, they're doing that already. They come to us a lot. And uh, so any country that has to send any government that, that see that their citizen has, has to go out of the country all the time and uh, using a lot of uh, resource of the country, they will want to slow that down, stop that. So they're going to have their own hospital that can, at least can do international uh, uh, standard of care and uh, they're going to have to develop that regardless of what happened. 
So we want to join them with that part. So later in the future, our vision is going to be that our headquarters here are going to be uh, super tertiary or quaternary, higher than super tertiary, uh, to take care of all the uh, uh, our, our network hospital in LEMC. Uh, and then we do have our own super quaternary. Right now we are working with many top uh, institutions. Uh, we intentionally select that uh, uh, institutions in the U.S., healthcare institutions in the U.S., to help support us to make sure we, all the time, we will, we will have that line of know-how to take care of our hospital in LEMC. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, another question is, uh, given the huge potential, growth potential, uh, a lot of other private hospital operators, both from Thailand as well as other countries, must also be buying opportunities um, in LBMC closely. What is the current competitiveness situation for private healthcare businesses in these countries? You know, in, in other words, you know, how competitive is it for the region or for a hospital trying to go into LBMC yeah. at the moment? Yeah, I think it's extremely high. And at the same time, we are looking into this. I think the rest of our um, able competitors, like I mentioned to you, some, a few companies, they have known that for a long time too, so they're going to go in there also. Mm -hmm. We feel it's very high, highly competitive. Only luckily we are closer uh, to this group. You can, you can see why we don't want to go down to Indonesia. We don't want to go down to uh, countries uh, uh, way down there. Uh, Malaysia, something like that, because we think this is we're closer to uh, the upper ones, and culturally we are closer to them also. Mm -hmm. So, would you say that um, the cultural clo uh, resemblance or closeness of Thailand and LBMC would be the main competitive advantage that BGH would have over uh, potential competitors from from other ASEAN countries? Yes, and we are. Uh, and we are their long-term um, referral. Uh, uh, in the last, at least in the last eight years, uh, they've been sending, they've been coming to us all along. And I don't think all they need to do right now is that I'm sick and time coming here. Why don't you come next to my home? And uh, lots of people say, well, you do that. You, you kind of uh, shooting on your own toes. I don't, we, our company don't believe that. When, Number one, they're going to start up their system regardless. Why don't we help them, join them in starting all those? And then, yes, you can have less, uh, less uh, complicated patient coming to you. But, uh, but you can have less com complicated patient coming to this uh, hospital, the one that used to come to us and used to go everywhere else too. And then only from that, the more complicated case will come to us. And we can uh, work uh, like up to our ability. So I think overall, it's going to be more plus than minus. OK. Thank you very much for that. Um, in addition to the benefits of AEC, or ASEAN Economic um, Community that you mentioned earlier, on the flip side, do you also foresee any risks or challenges as a result of the integration? AEC, only one that I would worry about is the free flow of healthcare personnel. The rest of them, we don't, I don't think we have, we, we worry much because uh, somebody gonna come to our country, let them come, you know, but uh, we worry more about people, uh, some of those countries. Some countries now uh, uh, have a salary 10 times, I'm sorry, not 10, three times more than our, our salary, and I think that could be a strong point of uh, uh, reason for our employee to go out to those countries. But not, they're not from, uh, but those companies that come to LVMC, can you do the same thing also? So I think that's only one, one challenge. We have to do uh, the best uh, to uh, engage those uh, people, uh, their mouth, their body, and their heart. Uh, to our company. We've been doing that for more than three years now. I think we up to the point we feel much comfor comfortable right now. Okay. In terms of the expansion plan into LBMC, I understand that BGH already has 
um, a hospital in Cambodia. Your handphone is ringing. So. You can have my handphone. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. In Sorry. Terms, no problem. Uh, in, in terms of the time frame for the expansion into our VMC, I understand that BHH right now has uh, two hospitals in Cambodia. Um, in addition to the two hospitals in Cambodia, can you maybe um, talk about the timeline of the expansion and, and the time frame of when do you think um, each of these LVMC countries would be ready for a private hospital? I know my boss can predict how many hospitals we can have in our country mm -hmm. because we have full control on environment. But for LVMC, we cannot control the laws, the environment. I still, I don't think I can, I, honestly, I cannot say much time frame. All we know is that uh, our uh, Tertiary Care Cambodian uh, Royal Phnom Penh Hospital going to open uh, this coming March, for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are uh, starting some project in Luang Prabang, which we're still negotiating with uh, local authorities and national authorities. And we have no, absolutely no control over what's going to happen. And yes, uh, we, uh, we have been preparing uh, to go into Myanmar for four years. And uh, now we're going to negotiating uh, uh, the piece of land, and we have no full control with that. So timing, I'm really sorry, I cannot uh, answer that one. No problem. Okay, uh, at this time, I would like to also um, open the floor and give the rest of the audience <coughs> opportunity to ask um, questions. So um, please feel free to raise your hand, and our staff will uh, provide you with the microphone. Yep, feel free to uh, over here. Please state your name. Thank you. Hi, I'm Xiaomi from Shorters. Um, just a question, you talked a lot about hardware building hospitals and clinics, but can you talk a bit more about soft skills and especially about labor, um, the availability of the pool of labor in the medical profession, you know, what, whether there's a supply shortness, what needs to be done to train people if necessary? Thanks. You talk about generically, uh, overall, not, not what we're doing in BGS, right? Okay, uh, I think uh, uh, in do all this, I see no problem with uh, uh, capitals, investments, and, and legal maybe, and whenever it, hap it, happen, it will happen, I still feel the part that uh, we have to concern the most is still coming down to healthcare, skilled healthcare personnel in three prongs. First one is uh, uh, healthcare personnel in service, in clinical services, and uh, how we prepare all those. And uh, if you talk about Thailand, you know, if I'm talking about Thailand right now, we, uh, uh, we want to prepare enough doctors and nurses and um, pharmacists, technicians, and other personnel. And uh, we are doing fair, and there's lots of complaint about uh, uh, private side, uh, still um, uh, pro healthcare professional from public and fighting that and this uh, laws, rule, regulation coming up. But I, uh, right now, the government start to look differently. Uh, the, the government start to look at, uh, well, the government is taking care of Thai people and they cannot use the public hospital to take care of all of them. Some parts still have to be, you know, almost one third and still uh, under uh, care of the private sector. So right now, the government start to talk to private sector. Uh, it, the private sector now, uh, I still feel in order to prepare personnel enough, just for Thailand situation, uh, the public side, private side, and we have one strongest uh, uh, part of uh, player here, professionals uh, here, uh, uh, count, uh, medical council, nursing council, dental council, very strong. They can tell the government, you know, you go there. You don't mess with us and things like that because they have to protect uh, the safe, safety of a Thai population also. So if public, private, professional can work together, they can prepare together. We have enough uh, space in our uh, or uh, uh, resources in teacher, in uh, hospital, in training, in the uh, private side also, 
and uh, if uh, professional allow us, we can increase the number of doctors. And even though right now our doctors are getting much, much more in Thailand, but before you can use them, it has to be 10 years after that, after they graduate. Training, the skill training is much more important. So if that happens, then I think we are well prepared for, for uh, AEC. Now, second prong, research. All those PP, PP, we would have to work together to, to do a serious, meaningful research in our country that really point to things that we have that the rest of the world does not have. And, uh, and number three, training. Training. Uh, uh, all those uh, people have to be together and help train, like I mentioned, uh, nurse, nurses, doctors, when they graduate. They have to be fully trained, have fully skilled before they go out and affect life of so many people. So if PPPP can do those three clinical service, research, and training, I think we can be much stronger and we can uh, take care of all those. Uh, we can go anywhere and we can take good care of our own people also. Your question? Any, any other questions from the audience? Okay, I think that's... Okay, um, and, and maybe I'll just ask one last question then. Um, if you have to rank the LV, LVMC countries in terms of the level of attractiveness among themselves um, and versus Thailand, how would you rank them in, in which order and maybe your reasonings? I will go to Myanmar first because they have the just, just opening, they're untouched and they do have a lot of resources, they do have needs. Right now, Myanmar patient flying to a hospital is number one. Uh, they just beat uh, people from uh, the Middle East monthly. So they need help, you know. So number one will be Myanmar because they're ready for everything mm -hmm. and they're willing and they're uh, on the private side. Uh, the doctors from Myanmar, they're very, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the, yes, the doctors from Myanmar, they, they want to learn. They have more doctors that have lots of knowledge. They just don't have opportunity to practice. If we happen to open a hospital there, I'm pretty sure there are lots of knowledgeable doctors who come and join us. Number two, people from, from, from Myanmar, uh, they really listen to the doctors well, uh, maybe because influence of uh, British influence a long time ago. Uh, they, they don't complain. They don't bargain much. They don't, you know, they, they will do whatever the doctor wants them to do. But overall, I think uh, uh, invest in Myanmar would, would be number one uh, that would be the most fruitful. Mm -hmm. uh, rank number two, I would say, uh, it would be Cambodia. Because Cambodia have resources also, gas, oil, everything. And, uh, and like Myanmar and Cambodia, Thai companies going out a lot too. We have chance of ha having Thai companies that station over there to come to, to use our service also. Uh, Cambodia will be uh, the reason close to Myanmar. However, they're, they're smaller. Yeah. Number three, I would say, would be Laos. Laos has uh, lots of resources. And uh, last on the rank in India, and it is personal, okay? I'm not saying anything negative, but, but uh, Vietnam, we leave, leave uh, the last one. Because Vietnam, they can do their own job. They, they, like you see that over there, they do good job in, in taking care of their own people. So the only chance in Vietnam would be a very, very super complicated patient will come to us. But the rest, it's not going to be an easy thing to go to Vietnam. It's going to be hardworking. And only for super sick patient, then you have a chance to take care of them because they can take care of their own people. Actually, Vietnam is our, our biggest competitor because lots of people from LEMC, they go to Vietnam also before they come to us, especially the patients with the middle class and low middle class. They go from Cambodia, they have almost half of the country. Okay, well, um, if there's no more questions from the audience, uh, I would like to end the session and uh, thank you very much to Ajahn Chah Thuy for being here with us today. Thank you, everyone, and I hope that uh, you found the session informat informative and interesting. Uh, now, 
um, I would like to invite everyone to lunch. And thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for the informative session from Dr. Chatri and Kun Chatri. So that we could see the opportunity to invest in healthcare sector, particularly in CLMV countries, right?